This is a private communication from the Alpha 2000 Corporation to Alpha 2000 Freelance Director of Global Acquisitions and Strategy, Leslie Caution. All information, including your responses, are the intellectual property of the Alpha 2000 Corporation. Further continuation of this communication is an implicit acceptance of both present and future terms of the Alpha 2000 privacy policy. If you wish to continue this communication, please recite the first article of Futurism. We intend to sing the love of danger, the habit of energy and fearlessness. Thank you. Congratulations. Your outstanding work on the Alpha 2000 Latin American Electronic Information Summit has paid in 8% fewer unique queries while CO is now 99.6% of market share. A bonus of 50,000 Amazon points have been added to your monthly allowance. To accept and continue please recite the second article of Futurism. Courage, audacity, and revolt will be essential elements of our poetry. Thank you. Unfortunately, your freelance contract has not been renewed and your employment by the Alpha 2000 Corporation is hereby terminated immediately. To begin your exit interview, please recite the third article of Futurism. Literature has exalted a pensive immobility, ecstasy, and sleep. We intend to exalt aggressive action, a feverish insomnia. Thank you. Please summarize your time at Alpha 2000. You will have two minutes. To begin, please recite the fourth article of Futurism. We affirm that the world's magnificence has been enriched by a new beauty, the beauty of speed. A racing car whose hood is adorned with great pipes, like serpents of explosive breath. Thank you. Please begin now. My family history is inseparable from the Alpha Corporation. My grandfather was the chief systems architect of the Alpha 60 series, as well as the IBM 44 series prototype before that. Though some of his ideas proved flawed, his core concepts still circulate at the deepest levels of the Alpha 2000 operating system and will continue unchanged in the forthcoming Alpha 2020 system update. Except in struggle, there is no more beauty, no work without an aggressive character can be a masterpiece. Poetry must be conceived as a violent attack on unknown forces to reduce and prostrate them before man. We succeeded in giving the world meaning. We created a simple order to things, a streamlined cleanliness. We replaced animal passion with the smooth habit of want and fulfillment, a desire that was continually renewed. It was in the wanting that one came to know themselves. Consumption bestowed identity. Chaos and anarchy persisted. They still persist, but every minute we further triumph in identification, definition, and classification. We shine a light into their filthy little holes. They will ultimately find no escape from order. We will glorify war, the world's only hygiene, militarism, patriotism, the destructive gesture of freedom bringers, beautiful ideas worth dying for, and scorn for woman. We will destroy the museums, libraries, academies of every kind. We'll fight moralism, feminism, every opportunistic or utilitarian cowardice. Why should we look back when what we want is to break down the mysterious doors of the impossible? Time and space died yesterday. We already live in the absolute because we have created eternal, omnipresent speed. 
We defined the possible and gave it a moral imperative. Once something became possible, it therefore became necessary. If it could be, then it must be. A timeless procession of the new gave purpose to both today and tomorrow. Each generation is the architect of its own obsolescence, using the latest tools and ideas at its disposal to create new tools and new ideas that will in their turn be cast into the trash heap of time. It is not only to be accepted, but embraced. It is the founding principle. But what of the past? Must it be forgotten? Once something has outlived its purpose, when it is no longer necessary, but still possible. Our system has no language or equation for this. The past is not relevant to current strategies. Is the past just commoditized nostalgia? No, something still remains. This car has nowhere to go. The roads it once traveled are overgrown with weeds. Yet I feel the pulsing strength of its engine. I hear the valves open, the lifters tick. But slowly, it drains its own irreplaceable fuel. Once drained, this sound will vanish from the earth like a forgotten language. I've also outlived my purpose. I am no longer necessary, but my possibility lingers. I feel the blood surge in my veins. The air fill my lungs. What is this voice I hear? It's just a whisper, but undeniable. Is it my father? The ghost in the machine? The beating of a heart. Dozens of diverse cultures and people an affirmation. United in their hopes and dreams of a better world. Based on a Each generation is the architect of its own obsolescence. Using the latest tools and ideas at its disposal to create new tools and new ideas that will in their turn be cast into the trash heap of time. This is not only to be accepted, but embraced. It is the founding principle. on its own tail will consume itself. The snake that feeds on its own tail will consume itself. The snake that feeds on its own tail will consume itself. The snake that feeds on its own tail will consume itself. The snake that feeds on its own tail will consume itself.
The future is not a circle to be endlessly repeated, nor is it a straight line without depth or substance. Our lives are measured in sine waves that mark their own time and radiate outward eternally, their frequencies reflecting our own histories, vibrating forever. <laughs>